Hey, Divi Nation. Thanks for joining us for day 35 of the Divi 100 Marathon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the new Divi Customizer Settings Pack. Once installed, this Customizer Settings Pack will provide you with beautiful site-wide changes in a single click. Here's how to get it on your Divi website. To use the Divi Customizer Settings Pack on your own Divi website, you'll first need to download the zipped file that we've provided in the accompanying blog post. So if you're watching this video on YouTube or Facebook, check the video description for a link to get the download. So once you've completed the download, locate the zipped file in your downloads folder. And go ahead and unzip it. All right. Next, in WP Admin, navigate to Divi. Divi library and click the import and export button at the top of the page. When the portability modal pops up, go to the import tab and click choose file. So here within your downloads folder and the unzip version of the file you just downloaded, there are three files. The first one is the one that we're going to import here. It says uh, one article page before Divi library import. So this is not the customizer setting file. This is just uh, a file we're using to demonstrate uh, the customizer settings taking effect. So go ahead and select the first file there and import it into your Divi library. Okay, so next go to Pages, Add New, and just title the new page before Customizer. You're not going to publish this, so you don't need to worry about keeping this page or what the title is going to be long term. This is just to show you the um, Customizer settings taking effect. So down here in the Builder, go to Load from Library, Add from Library, and you're gonna see article page before customizer. This is the layout that we just imported. Go ahead and load that. And then go to preview. So now we can see this design before our customizer settings take effect on the front end. Obviously not ideal with the font sizes and the spacing of everything. Um, there's a lot that could be improved here. So here's what you need to do. And you need to follow these directions uh, pretty specifically because otherwise you won't get um, the right preview mode here. So in the top WP admin bar up here, uh, it's black on default, you might have changed the color, but under uh, where your website name is, under that there's going to be a drop down menu and an option for theme customizer. Click that option, theme customizer. What this does is it makes sure that the page that you were just working on appears over here in the preview while you're in the theme customizer. Okay, so in order to add the customizer settings that we've given you, you're going to need to click on this icon right here. This is the import and export icon. This uh, portability modal is going to pop up again. This should be pretty familiar to you by now. Go to the import tab. And before you do anything else, let's go ahead and click this download backup before importing. So this checkbox right here, what that does is it creates a JSON file of your current settings and it downloads that before you uh, you apply these new settings. That way if you don't like them and you don't want the new settings site-wide, you can really easily revert back to the settings that you have right this moment uh, just by re-importing that file that it's gonna download. So that's pretty important. Uh, even if you don't think you're gonna do it, go ahead and click the box just to be on the safe side. All right, so now let's go to choose file. We've included a reset Divi customizer settings to default file here. Um, and that's just in case you want to take your site back to the actual default Divi settings just for any other reason. It's kind of a useful file to have. Okay, so what you want to do now is select the second file here called article page after customizer import. Select that and go ahead and click the import button. So as this takes effect, what you're going to notice is that the article or the page you were just working on now has the new styles applied to it, and it's looking much, much better. And these, these changes are going to be applied to other pages and posts on your website. 
um, you just click around here to see what I'm talking about. So if I go to my home page, it now also has new styles based on the file that we just uploaded. And if you poke around a bit and you decide that you don't like this and you don't want it so settings applied so broadly, that's totally fine. You can just revert back to um, your previous settings by using the file that um, was automatically generated when you, uh, when you did that import. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you're enjoying the Divi 100 Marathon and we look forward to giving away multiple freebies each and every week during the series. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and email newsletter so that you never miss a thing. Also, if you like this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up or a like if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, respectively. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.